Welcome to Sketchy Ski Resort, where the powder is always fresh and the lift lines are short. It's the perfect time to tighten those bindings and carve some tracks into this topic about lung volumes and capacities. But first, to set the tone for this mountainous scene, the deep timbre of an alp horn. It's gotta take a big breath to summon that kind of sound, like the breath needed for a spirometer, which is why this alp horn has a few extra spirals. A spirometer is the device used during spirometry, a type of pulmonary function test, or PFT. Spirometry measures airflow volumes and rates, and it gives all kinds of info about the lungs. We'll freestyle through a lot more details about PFTs in another sketch. But for now, we're going to start by focusing on lung volumes and capacities. And if you take a closer look at this mountainous terrain, you might even be able to make out a familiar looking graph. There are four lung volumes, and we'll start with tidal volume. This is the amount of air you breathe in and out during a normal breath, about 500 milliliters. Our sketchy ski instructor here is wearing a tie-dye shirt, and you'll notice he's at the same altitude as these gentle forested slopes, a reasonable altitude for a bit of a chill warm-up. After a normal breath in, the inspiratory reserve volume is the extra amount of air you can still inhale. The peak of this mountain is marked with an inspiration viewpoint sign, and we've added a band of snow that begins above the tree line. This is a reminder that the inspiratory reserve volume is the amount of inspired air above and beyond a typical breath in. Woo! watch out. The piste is wicked steep on this side of the mountain. Looks like our skier couldn't quite stick the landing and got the wind, or as the pros say, expiratory reserve volume knocked out of him. The expiratory reserve volume is the extra amount of air you can still exhale after a normal breath out. So, we've put our wiped out skier in his own gravelly base layer beneath the forested slopes. But maybe it was a good thing our skier took a spill back there. He was getting dangerously close to this cliff, which drops off to an ominous rock slide of residual V-shaped rocks. This rocky pit should help you remember residual volume, which is the air remaining deep in the lungs after maximal expiration, that is, the air which can't be exhaled. Because this air can't be exhaled, it also can't be directly measured by spirometry, hence the off-limits sign staked at the cliff edge. You can also see that the harmonious notes from the Alphorn spirometer don't float down to the residual area. 